Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for a pretty small Sam's Club haul. We actually got to go to a Sam's Club when we went out of state. So let's see what we decided to pick up. So here is my small Sam's Club haul. And you're gonna notice that there's a lot of refrigerated stuff. And that's because this is the stuff that I can't order online. Other stuff jumped into our cart. You guys know we always have stuff jump into our cart. But let's go ahead and start on this side. You guys, I love watching food hauls. And I've been seeing everybody with this watermelon crunch chop salad. So they had these at Sam's. I was so excited. I told my husband this is one of the things I wanted. And those were $2.98 and I actually grabbed two bags of that. So I hope I like it. And then I went ahead and got some chicken for stockpile to put into the freezer. And so this right here is $20.59 and it was $2.98 a pound. Just to give you an idea, the last time I looked at chicken at my store, it was $5.19 a pound. So I went ahead and I grabbed the largest pack I could find because I just wanted to get one pack. And then I don't know if you guys have tried this cheese right here, this shaved blend, the Asiago Parmesan and Romano. Oh my gosh, it is so yummy. We absolutely love having it. It says for salads and more, but it's great on top of any sort of pasta, anything like that. Then we've got the price right there of $9.88. And I can tell you guys, you guys already know this, but lots of things have went up. I can't remember the price on that the last time I bought it because it's been quite a while. Then I went ahead and picked up a heavy cream. It was $4.76 for the quart. And I don't have any plans for that, but this is good for over a month. And so I like having it in the fridge when I can get it for cheaper. I try to do that. And then I went ahead and got myself some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And for the two pack of these, it was $5.38. So for a gallon, so not too shabby. We went ahead and threw in two gallons of milk because it was $3.42. Last time I bought milk at our store, it was over $5. And this is the vitamin D milk. And then watching somebody's food haul in their prepper pantry, they had talked about getting a large thing of soy sauce because it pretty much lasts forever. And I thought this was a great idea. So this is something that I had on my list for my prepper pantry. So $6.88, and this is two quarts. Then we've also been needing some Miracle Whip, but at my store, per bottle, it's been $5 to $7. So I saw these and went ahead and grabbed them. They were $6.98. Normally I like to wait till stuff goes on sale, but since we saw it and we were there, we decided to go ahead and get that. And then I went ahead and grabbed a three pack of the original Laughing Cow cheese, cheese wedges. And these were $7.58 for the three pack. And then we love this jalapeno artichoke dip. Um, we love the one from Walmart as well. This large one was $7.48. And let's see, how big is this one? This one is two pounds, so it is a large one. And then to go along with that, we really love the non bites. I don't know if you guys have had these before. At our store, I can buy a tiny little thing of them for like $4.59. So a big thing of these for $5.18 is a no-brainer. So we grabbed those. And then Clamato. I like having Clamato in my pantry um, for drinks and cocktails and stuff. Or just drinking on its own. So for a two-pack, it was $8.32. At my store, one jug of Clamato is $6.99. So I went ahead and grabbed four of those. And that was my husband's fault. He suggested that. And then I saw these and I asked my husband if he wanted them. The jalapeno and garlic stuffed green olives, or it says Greek olives. He loves the garlic stuffed ones. And these ones just have a little piece of jalapeno and garlic in there. So I thought he might like those. Those were $6.48. And you can tell that we went to Sam's Club a few days ago because these right here are almost gone. These are the Madelines. And oh my goodness, so yummy. Um, this was definitely a splurge purchase because they were $8.98 for this container. And my husband was eating them last night and I was like, just make sure I have one for my food haul. And so this thing was jam packed full um, of Madelines and it's from American Bakery. And they have um, an almond flavor to them and they are so delicious. Now we all know inflation is real, but I just used the last of these milk bones to soft and chewy. When I bought them from Sam's Club last time, they were $10.58. 
now I bought a new one and I knew they had went up but I didn't realize how much so now twelve seventy eight so two dollars and twenty cents just on this one item and then for dog treats we also decided to um, get these so the dogs could try them we've never seen these ones before eleven dollars and ninety eight cents for five pounds so that's a great deal there are five simple ingredients um, they're not really big fans, you guys, <laughs> but my dogs, they know they're going to eat the treats or they don't get anything else. So kind of like children. Then for my husband, he was just out of body wash and shampoo and, and shampoo conditioner. And so he got two of the shampoo conditioner, the Old Spice. These were $10.84 a piece and he got a two pack of the body wash. They were $12.48. Editing Marlene here. I forgot something on the Sam's Club haul. Let me show you what it is. We don't usually buy a lot of bottled water, and this is basically for emergency use. But of course, as you guys know, bottled water doesn't last forever, so we'll, we will cycle through it. This top one has been opened. A couple bottles were taken out for our road trip back from Salt Lake. So uh, Sam's Club has the 40 uh, bottles for $4.24, and we got two of them. And like I said, this is more for emergency use than a day-to-day -day use so let's go ahead and get back to the rest of the video and I used to be able to get this type of stuff probably I would say for $150 or so wow my hair is pretty crazy and um, the total at Sam's Club when we were in Utah was $197.28 so definitely filling the inflation today but we still got some great stuff and a lot of this is you know going to last us for quite some time so right here you see a bunch of columbine and there's not as much as there was I bought 15 of these and you guys are going, Marlene, your garden is already so full. Where do you have room for those? So these were on clearance and I got three different colors. And so this is the Winky Double Rose and White. And then I got the Winky Red and White. And last but not least, I got the Winky purple and white. Look at how pretty that one is. So $5.98 a piece, right? And then you see right here that there's a red mark through it. These were 75% off. Look at this plant, especially this one right here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this plant right here. They are all in amazing shape. So I got 15 columbine and they were $1.50 a piece. In my area, they grow amazing. This is my second grocery haul. Um, this week started out with a, a Sam's Club haul. And so this is what I got to finish out the week. So let's see what I found on sale today. Here is my grocery haul. It is a smaller one and I did shop sale items. So let's start over here. I went ahead and grabbed two more loaves of our favorite bread. This used to be one of the cheaper breads on the shelf. And now it's one of the most expensive ones, it seems like, or more expensive. And so these were on sale for $3.09, so I grabbed two because I'm running low in the freezer. And then these were on sale for $2.29. And so I figured we'd give them a whirl. The biggest reason why we like the Grandma Sycamores is it freezes really well and comes out amazing. And so this Bread Lover's Bread, like I said, we've never tried it. So we will leave one loaf out to have fresh and freeze one and see how it does. And then we got a whole bunch of snacks. It is so summer and lake days and stuff and so I love to buy this kind of stuff when it's on sale. I bought three of my favorite pretzels I probably shouldn't have because I love these pretzels. They are the butter pretzel braids. They were on sale three for five so I grabbed three of those. And then their Gardettos, the Bugles, and the Chex Mix were all part of a buy six, save $3. So when you did that, these all dropped down to $1.49. This is a brand new flavor for me. I have not seen this white cheddar Chex Mix, so I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I got one traditional and one cheddar. And then I went ahead and grabbed the original Gardettos and a Pizzeria Gardettos and an original Bugle. Um, I love these, these bring me back to my childhood. So these were all $1.49 on that sale, much cheaper than stopping at a gas station or something on the way to the lake. And then I had a mishap with my freezer and I've got some sausage that got thawed. And so I went ahead and grabbed four packs of country gravy 
And so I'm going to go ahead and make a batch for this week, but I'm probably also going to cook up all of the sausage and then just freeze part of it cooked. So I figured I would get some more gravy. I already have biscuits. And then Townhouse were on sale, part of that by six. And so they were $2.49 a piece. Plus I bought a had a sale as well. When you bought two townhouse, you got a dollar fifty back. So these broke down to two forty nine a piece, and then I got a dollar fifty back. So that was an amazing deal. And I only let myself buy one of these pretzel flip sides, you guys, um, because yeah, the two boxes that I bought last week are almost gone already. Now other people have helped me with them, but definitely mostly me. Then I love this Butter Bliss salad, and they were on sale two for five, so not an amazing deal, but I went ahead and grabbed two of those, so we have some fresh lettuce. I grabbed one Hot House compu computer, <laughs> cucumber, because they were still on sale for $1.50, so I just grabbed one to have with salads, and then I grabbed some fresh corn. It looked absolutely amazing. It is the yellow and the white, and I absolutely love this. These were on sale six for $2, so I grabbed six of them. We're gonna be cooking some of this up later this week. And then I went ahead and grabbed a five pound bag of potatoes. Not a great price, I almost didn't get them, um, and was going to wait to see if they were on sale next week. But with the way prices have been, I decided to go ahead and get them. And I want to make a potato salad. I would love to find big bags of potatoes on sale because I want to can some potatoes. And then I did grab some cheese. I grabbed three Swiss cheeses because they were on sale three for five. And my dear hubby um, had an accident and I was wishing we had some butterfly closures and we didn't have any. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these. There's 12 in each and um, they were 99 cents. So I got this just to go into the first aid kit. Strawberries were on sale two for $4. And I'm going to be making a, a strawberry rhubarb crumble for my family today or tomorrow. And then the toaster strudels were part of the buy six save $3. So these came down to $1.49 a piece. I haven't bought them in a while. It's one of those things that's either hit or miss that my family will eat or they won't. Um, the favorite toaster strudel of all the ones that I buy that goes first is the cream cheese and the strawberry. So I decided let's just go with four cream cheese and strawberry. Now, Cool Whip. You guys are going to say, Marlene, didn't you just buy five things of Cool Whip? Like, are you eating Cool Whip all by itself? And the answer to that is no. I still have the Cool Whip that I bought last time. This time, however, I did grab three of the light Cool Whip. And these were part of the buy six sale. Also, I bought it had them 50 cents back. So they were $1.49. And then when I take the 50 cents off, they are down to 99 cents. So your girl is stocked for Cool Whip um, for the summer and maybe even the holidays because I now have 10 um, things of Coop, but on WW, the Coop light is very, very easy and friendly. So let me show you guys my meal plan. And so Monday and Tuesday have already passed. We did leftovers. I worked both days. Um, tonight I'm doing a version of million dollar spaghetti. And like I told you guys, I was doing a rhubarb crumble. And then on Thursday, I am going to be doing a little bit of meal prep. So I'm going to do those biscuits and gravies I told you about. Also, I'm going to do some breakfast burritos and get those frozen up. On Friday, we'll just do leftovers. On Saturday, we've got a box of tuna helper that's getting ready to expire. We're going to do that with salad. On Sunday, we're going to go ahead and do some grilled chicken and veggies and some chicken broccoli rice. And on Monday, I'm going to shop again, but we're going to go ahead and do burgers. And that's where the potato salad and the corn on the cob is. We will most likely do corn on the cob on Sunday as well. And I might switch these two so we don't have corn on the cob for two days. Then let me tell you guys what my total was. So my total, let me show you my receipt. If we can get it. There we go. 71.58 was my total. Well, it says 7166. 7166. I don't know what the difference is between those. Oh, tax. Eight cents tax. Because I did buy um, those butterflies. Food in our area is not taxed. And then I want to show you guys my finds at the thrift store. I hit the thrift store before I went, and there's the sausage and the stuff that got thawed out of my freezer. Um, I have always wanted one of these little measuring spoon sets. And this, it did have the tag on it too when I bought it, but I think it must have got torn off. So this is the smidgen, the pinch, and the dash. And they are stainless steel, um, still perfectly good. So I grabbed these. And then I grabbed these four plates. And these are metal. And so if you look here, these are from Hobby Lobby. $6.99 a piece. 
obviously never been washed, maybe used for one thing and then taken to the thrift store. So I got all of this for $2 and 50 cents, 50 cents an item. So super happy. Um, when I saw these, I thought of Christmas decor. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but that is what I thought. So uh, that's it for my grocery hauls. Thanks you guys for coming along and joining me. And for anybody that is still here at the end of this video, will you guys do me a favor and put a purple heart so I know how many people are watching my videos through to the end. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody.